Hey guys, this is Evan from uh, Miller3D here, just here to give you a quick tutorial on something that's probably happened to a lot of cube users. The filament's come back in and we can't use it anymore. Luckily there's a pretty easy fix for that, I'll show you right now. So first thing, what you're going to need is um, an X-Acto knife or something similar to cut these labels with. Uh, not a big deal, anything sharp will do, even a flathead screwdriver, if, if that's all you got, you could probably do with that. Um, something to push the little tabs in right here so you're going to need to open the thing up so anything will do once again um, mechanical pencil even anything like that flathead works great though um, you're going to need some little shims to actually keep those tabs pushed in because they won't stay on their own so one thing you can use that's kind of nifty is uh, you can just take the little um, bits from the bed leveling calibration file and just jam those right in there if you don't have too many of those laying around you can clip a paper, uh, cut a paper clip up or something along those lines, so, yeah, and then you're going to want some eye protection because, uh, stuff kind of goes flying all over the place when you do open it, the little shims will kind of fall out and fly all over, so you just want to be careful with that, so let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, we need to take care of these labels here, so I'll just take our exacto knife and give them a quick slice, careful with your fingers, and nothing to it. Oops, missed that one a little bit. And you can just peel those off if you wanted to, but cutting them's kind of easier, so I go with that. And next up, we need to take care of all these little um, tabs here. So you basically need to get all of them except for the one side, and then uh, that'll come right off. So we're going to take right here, here, there, 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 and there off, and we'll be good to open it. So. Alright, so next up we got to open all these tabs up and they're all around the thing, but we can ignore the two on this side since we just uh, need to get enough to kind of pry the thing open. So how we're going to do that is we'll just take our flat head and then uh, one of these little shims here. I can pick it up and just push it in and jam your shim in and it's good to go. And we're just going to do that all the way around the whole thing, except for those two, as I said. Jam that in. Bugger. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone around and done all of them except for these two right here. Just jam my little shims in, and we're good to go for the next step. Now, you're probably going to want to throw some eye protection on for this part, just because those little gems you just stuck in might go flying out, and it's just good to err on the side of safety. We like our eyes here, so it should just pretty much pop right open once you get those. And as you can see, they're kind of flying, and that's why we got eye protection on. And there we have it. It's ready to go, ready to fix. Now, uh, one thing to keep an eye out for here is this little RF, F, yeah, RFID tag. You're not going to want to lose because that tells what kind of filament is and uh, how much you've got left. So without that, it's not going to work, and it's just kind of slotted into that plastic there. So definitely be careful with that thing. And then also this little silica packet here. So just make sure those stay with it, where they belong and everything's good. So the main problems you'll have had is either this thing has come off like that because it got pushed back into the spool and it jams up, or it just got pushed back in and you can't get at it. So in any case, you just want to make sure it's wound properly, and it doesn't hurt to unspool it a little bit because um, if it gets stuck underneath one of those, um, it'll feed fine for a little while, and then it'll just kind of stop feeding properly, jam up, and you need to reopen again, you get a failed print, that's no fun, so you might as well check while you're in here. So, knock those little shims out, that feed back in. Alright, so you might need to hold this down at like a 90 degree angle or so, just to get it to um, stay where it really belongs, because the natural curvature of it kind of wants to make it come out of those guides, but you just need to keep it in those three little guides there, and then we're ready to pop the thing back on. It's as easy as that. Just carefully reseat it, push down, make sure that RFID tag is seated properly. And 
we are good to go. Saved. Thanks for watching, guys.